Let's start with the sign-in screen. Here, our user logs in. They type their email address, and this is always the first step, and then they click the Continue button. This brings our user to the Select an Account prompt, which is also referred to as the Account Selector. So here, our user is presented the option to select the desired account. Remember, this is the login account, an account with credentials. So in our example, since the user has both an Adobe ID, personal account, as well as an enterprise ID, company or school account, they are presented a choice to select either personal account or company or school account. Note, many Adobe customers may only have an Adobe ID or an enterprise ID. Only in specific instances, such as in today's example, would a user see both account options. Continuing with our example, let's say the user selects personal account. Upon selecting personal account, the user is prompted to enter their password and then clicks continue. And after entering their password, the user is presented with a profile selection. In our example, since the user's Adobe ID or personal entitlement has been invited to a team, just given them a team entitlement, they are presented the option to select either their personal profile or their team entitlement, here represented as test org. Let's say the user selects their personal profile. Upon logging into the personal profile, which in Creative Cloud Desktop, the user sees the applications that have been purchased as available in your plan. So here, Photoshop, Fresco, Photoshop Express, etc. because the Photoshop and other apps listed have been purchased by the user. Note, although the team has given this user license to use Illustrator, it does not list Illustrator as available in your plan. And this is because a user logged into their personal profile. Illustrator is shown as apps to try. If the user had instead selected their team entitlement, represented by test org, then after selecting their test org profile, the user sees within the Creative Cloud desktop that Illustrator is listed in available in your plan, since the team had given this user an Illustrator subscription. Note that within this profile, the user does not see Photoshop in available in your plan. And this is because the team has not given the user a Photoshop subscription. Remember that in our example, the user wants to use Photoshop, they'll need to be logged into their personal profile, the profile in which the user purchased the Photoshop subscription. Also notice that when the user has selected the team entitlement test org, user has one terabyte of cloud storage. Whereas when the user selected their personal profile, the available storage was only 100 gigabytes. So, for team entitlements in Creative Cloud Desktop, although a storage quota is shown, for teams this is a soft quota, correlating to the subscription the user was delegated by that organization. This means that if a team had three delegated users, then the team would have a total of three terabytes of shared cloud storage. Each user can use this shared total, provided that the total storage does not exceed the cumulative three terabytes available to the team. Let's return to the account selector screen. To recap, in our example, since the user has both an Adobe ID, personal account, as well as an enterprise ID, company or school account, they are presented a choice to select either personal or company or school account. This time, let's take a moment to review the experience when a user selects company or school account. Upon clicking company or school account, they are presented with this profile selector sign-in. Notice there is no personal profile shown in this profile selector. This is because they do not have a personal profile on their enterprise ID. Remember here, the user has their ETLA or Enterprise ID, which has a CCE entitlement, and the user was also invited to a team, Team Org 1. Let's say the user at this point selects their ETLA profile. Upon selecting their ETLA profile, the user sees Photoshop in available for your plan with an associated one terabyte of storage. Again, this is because this is an enterprise Photoshop entitlement, not a personal entitlement. 
Notice that Illustrator is not an app listed in there available in your plan because the user has not been delegated an Illustrator license by this ETLA org. However, if the user had selected their team org profile, team org one, then upon selecting team org profile, team org one, then in Creative Cloud Desktop, the user sees that Illustrator is available in your plan because the team delegated the user an Illustrator license. Whereas here, Photoshop is only listed as apps to try because the team has not delegated this user a Photoshop license. In summary, there are account selector screens and there are profile selector screens. Account selector is always the first screen presented to the user and is only shown when the user has both an individual account, personal profile, and a company or school account associated with the same email address. The account selector is always shown before the user enters their password or federated credential and logs in. The account selector is always shown even if the user has no paid entitlement profiles on the account they are logging into. And in turn, the profile selector always comes after the user enters their password or federated credential, after the user has chosen their account and logged in. The profile selector will only appear if the login account has profiles from multiple sources. Also, the profile selector can appear when switching from one web page to another, specifically because the profile used in each page could be different, i.e. the Creative Cloud Desktop would recognize the user is logged into a given account, but will ask the user when multiple profiles are tied to that account to choose which profile they want to work in.